Hello Wanderers fans, I'm Sia Anthopoulos and welcome to another episode of Bay 46. Today I'm here at Sydney Olympic Park in Homebush to get all the goss from the announcement of our Wanderers temporary home away from home. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a great pleasure today that I announce that the Western Sydney Wanderers will be making the Sydney Olympic Park precinct their home um, from next year, with matches being staged at ANZ Stadium and Spotless Stadium. So there you have it. CEO John Satsimus has just announced that Spotless Stadium and ANZ Stadium will be home to the Wanderers next season as Pertec Stadium undergoes its knockdown rebuild. The majority of games will be played at the 24,000 seater that is Spotless, while select fixtures will be hosted by ANZ, including next season's first Sydney derby, which will surely break the derby attendance record. After the announcement, I was lucky enough to catch up with head coach Tony Popovich to get his thoughts on the news. Papa, we've just announced our home away from home for the next season. How do you feel about the news? Yeah, it's exciting. Um, you know, we're delighted to be here. Uh, you know, it's a temporary home, but um, you know, it's one that you know, we're all looking forward to be a part of and uh, I'm sure we can create some great memories here as well. Do you think this could uh, make the Sydney Derby the biggest sporting event in Australia? Well, it's, it's up there now, um, that's for sure, and uh, this gives it the opportunity and potential to uh, be even bigger, and uh, it's certainly a, a fixture we all look forward to next year. Well, you've played here at ANZ Stadium before. Uh, how, how will it feel coming back here as coach of the Wanderers? Yeah, it's, it's not something that uh, we felt or thought that we'd do uh, in league matches, but it just shows how far this league has come. Um, uh, in this country and it shows how far the Wanderers have come and uh, yeah, we're delighted and excited and uh, it will be, it'll be uh, interesting and also um, uh, different but uh, you know seeing our fans uh, really making a lot of noise in this uh, famous stadium uh, you know, it should be exciting for everyone. And so Friday night will mark our last regular season game at Pertec Stadium as it stands. Although we've only been there for four seasons, we've experienced a lifetime of memories. To help say goodbye, here are my top three Wonderland moments. First up, it's hard to go past our first ever game on the 6th of October 2012. 10,000 fans turned up to witness football come home as we played out a nil all draw against the Mariners, who funnily enough will be Friday's opponents. Talk about full circle. Derby day at Wonderland is always memorable, but Santa's last gasp winner in season two was something else. Just as the game looked to be headed for a stalemate, Santa poked home to give us our first ever Derby win at Wonderland. And how about that celebration? And last but certainly not least, it's that goal we'll talk about for years to come. Tommy Urich's brave volley in the first leg of the ACL final against Al Halal proved to be the difference over the two legs as the Wanderers achieved what no other Australian club has ever done. There's no doubt it'll be tough saying goodbye to Wonderland, but if these last four seasons are anything to go by, there'll be plenty more memories to come. So let's enjoy it one last time and turn up in numbers for our clash against the Mariners on Friday night. With two matches to go and the Premier's plate still in reach, it's one you won't want to miss. <laughs>